This is a representation of Geldart A particles in a fluidized bed. Our particles representing the Geldart A are aluminum oxide, and our fluid is compressed air. The characteristics that are important for a Geldart A fluidized particle is that the minimum fluidization velocity is lower than the minimum bubbling velocity. That means that there will be a point at which I can turn the gas flow on and the bed height will expand without noticing any bubbling. If I continue to turn that gas flow up, the bed will start bubbling. The converse is true, we can say that it could start bubbling and then I can turn the gas flow down a little bit, hopefully I see it stop bubbling. And as I continue to turn the gas flow down, we'll see the bed decrease in height. Zoom in here. Hear that out a little bit. Let's turn this flow on. So for this particular setup, it really doesn't take much gas flow to get it to bubble. We see here bubbling fluidized bed. I'm going to decrease the airflow a little bit. Still see it bubbling. Right about here, it stopped bubbling. We see it at about 14 centimeters of bed height. We continue to decrease the airflow. See a bed height drop as I bring it all the way down to zero. See the bed height is now about 13 and a half centimeters. So we see a significant drop in height between when it stopped bubbling and got airflow turned off completely. That would be the characteristics demonstrated by Geldart A fluidized particles.